Hey guys, what's up? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time is 1.11 a.m. And I'm doing a um, short list to the six fragrances for summer. Affordable site, smells nice and kind of underrated. And those who really, really want budget style perfumes, like you don't want to spend so much money, you can try these perfumes. These are not groundbreaking. Okay, These are not fragrances going to break any barrier or pick up any Nobel Prize or anything like that. But I find these fragrances for the price, they're very, very nice. Okay, so those who are on tight budget, you can try these. And I think these fragrances smell really, really nice. Okay, so uh, out of the six, one I haven't reviewed tomorrow, perhaps I'll look to review. One I just finished reviewing, that is my number one today. But uh, check them out. Okay, so I'll start with number six. It's a loan from one of my brothers, and he gave it to me. He said, Brother, have you reviewed this? I'm like, Nope. And he said, uh, Are you going to buy it? I'm like, Nope. <laughs> because the original one of this i think is not my most favorite but sent it to me and i really like the way it smells good performer this is uh mason fragrance world i think fragrance world you guys know that house barakat uh, aqua stellar so this is edp concentration and i did review i think bakarat rouge clone uh, grand soir clone from this line really pretty looking bottles definitely you can see the blue and it's in the style of mason francis kirk john and I think this Equa Universal is 40 or Universal is or maybe one of those, you know, like they have the fresh ones. It's a clone of that. Very nice perfume. When I sprayed it, I didn't expect so much, but I forgot this fragrance world. When I smell this, I smell a lot of uh, watery elements. First thing, I smell citrus, I smell floral, and I smell like an oceanic accord, uh, kind of like ambergris, okay? But it's not everything ambergris, it's amb ambroxan, right? So it's a fresh, kind of like a deep sea kind of cooling by the sea ocean vibe. And it's very similar to the style of uh, the Echo Universalis or Forte or one of those uh, like expensive fragrance which go for like $200, $300. So if you are looking for a good summer perfume, this is a good summer fragrance. I'll review it in depth and you can see. And I think it's a very good uh, bang for buck. Barakat Aqua Stellar, check out this perfume. So Fragrance World definitely is rocking. Next one, my bottle is about to finish. I sort of decanted it out. Uh, I wore it enough to know the fragrance definitely. This is uh, Ahmed Al Maghribi, I think. Yeah, Ahmed Al Maghribi. Uh, and this is called Kaf. K W A F, Kaf. Okay. So this one, huge, huge hype. Huge hype, as in like price is good, performance is beast mode. And mostly, this perfume is summer beast. Uh, previous one lasts a long time, but this one is a performance beast. Uh, if you like fragrances like Mont Blanc Legend, Fierce, okay, by Abercrombie, and then kind of like Platinum Egoist, but then again, a little bit of Hawass feel, you know, like a Middle Eastern, like musk tone. This is for you. Blue, fresh, fruity, pineapple-y, and a lot of musk. Amazing blue fragrance for summer, and it's not very expensive. Cuff by Ahmed Al Maghribi. Uh, this, try, the, try this one out and see some reviews. Then you'll get some idea. Number uh, 654. Number 4. Is one perfume i will tell you you will hate this uh, if i say this but actually this is pretty good this is my most favorite from the line at least this one house of rehan and this is called pacific for him so this one usually i do not feature this house everywhere that much because the longevity and quality of these fragrances the bottles are not top notch this is the cheapest and in terms of price point uh, among all the six i'm going to show you today one thing second thing is the longevity of these fragrances are not massive okay so these are two complaints i have about them and they do not smell that niche, to be honest. You know, some reviewers will tell you, get this. This one is um, Prada Lom, and this is like that. Uh, something like eight hours longevity uh, doesn't do that. I get three hours in Bangladesh condition, and it's decent. Three to four hours is not bad. Maybe in good condition you can get up to five, but that's about it. So Pacific for him is the better one. The other two are being one cool water clone, and then one is a clone. I don't know, Ocean Rush is getting super hype, but this is actually nice in the style of Invictus, okay? So it's citrusy, fruity, more enjoyable Invictus, less annoying, and definitely good for summer. If you have this bottle, you can actually afford to overspray, 10, 12 sprays. You can get easy five to six hours, no problem, but it's light and aquatic, like the color of the bottle. But it's very, very good, $20 odd, amazing fragrance. Rehan, Pacific. So next three, my top three, my favorite three. Ambre Pimente by Achmal, number three. This fragrance has been with me about two years now. And I think Ajmal is a very underrated brand. I'll review some more. Ajmal, nobody talks about. It doesn't get the hype like many other 
uh, Paris Corner, Latafa, or, you know, Rasa Siarma, because it's a, you know, I don't think they do so much of marketing. So luckily we have official distributor of Ajmal in Bangladesh, which is MMC Luxury Perfumes. So that's where I tried this for the first time in 2022, I think. Yeah, in one, um, I think it was a fragrance fair and they had a huge stall, a lot of perfumes. And someone told me to try this. And they said, if you like cardamom, try this. And I was mesmerized. You see my review, then you see how much I rate this. If you like the cardamom in Lanuidalum, try that one. That's it, I'm going to say. It is super beautiful use of cardamom, citrus, fruitiness. It's sweet, it's spicy. It's a beautiful balance between sweet and spicy and fresh. It's definitely good for summer and not very expensive. Amre Pimente or Amre Pimente, I don't know. Ajmal, very good quality fragrance. Number two, this is a perfume. <laughs> This one I enjoy a lot uh, without any guilt. This fragrance is called Al Dirgham from a house of Arzal Zafran, okay, or Zafaran. So some people say this is a maybe sub brand of Latafa or some of the other houses because I've seen uh, same fragrance. I think uh, what was that fragrance? The clone of Hawas with the leaf on, you know. So I saw that being released from two houses, you know, with different names. Uh, what's the fragrance? Hold on. <laughs> I cannot find it, but I think the fragrance was called Najatiya. So I have seen Ardal Zafran and then also Latafa, both of them releasing that same looking bottle. And I think I reviewed both. And they are not very different in terms of uh, smell, but performance was better on Latafa. So Ardal Zafran is very, very affordable. These are like, these fragrances you can pretty much buy 20, 22, 25 bucks, maybe in foreign countries, 25 to 30 ish, affordable. So this one got super high because people said this is a clone of chanel alirom sport and i definitely feel like if i can get a clone of that it can actually meet my craving for versace puram on budget with a good performance because this is a great performer but when i sprayed it i did not find any any sort of similarity apart from nice citruses maybe a little bit of uh, i don't know uh, some common notes maybe that tangerine okay maybe something common uh, maybe that's why people thought let me smell it again i mean the bottle is beautiful I love the way it smells. This one is very fruity. Maybe there's a pineapple, whatever. But the end twist, it goes towards Aventus, sort of like, not Aventus, but the pineapple direction. And to my nose, it's similar to Rave now. Okay. So the opening is kind of like a fresh bergamot, citrus, and then goes towards that pineapple. Very fruity, very nice, very fresh for everyday usage. Good fragrance. Okay. Uh, this is called Al Dirkam by Ardal Zafran. So leads me to number one. Uh, I have just prepared six because... I'm a little bit tired today after the whole day of fasting. So we have uh, next one coming up. So I want to preserve a little bit of energy. So number one today is the fragrance I just reviewed. This is called Kenneth Cole Reaction. So this is a tad bit more expensive than rest of, rest of them here uh, because uh, these are all your 20s, 30s, right? This one I paid 42, 3, 45. I don't remember exact, but around that price range. So it's a little bit more expensive. Why um, sort of... a uh, displaying here or showcasing it here because in usa countries like usa uk you can find this fragrance for 25 pounds or dollars okay that that is a very good price tag and these are fragrances for summer really really nice smelling aquatic ozonic melon like a uh, little bit of a citrus little bit of uh, oceanic accord some florals woody so nice perfume definitely a nice youthful fragrance for day day in day out and it's not very long lasting uh, but it's nice it's very refreshing so if you like fragrances like Melissa Imperial, you can give it a try. That one is very expensive, but this is affordable. So there you go. Six fresh fragrances in the budget segment. You can try them up. And uh, if you can, always try to uh, like test a fragrance, okay? And spray on your hand or on a paper and then walk around for one hour on the mall. Go around, you know, have lunch. And then, then you see how it, they trans, like transition, you know, like how they change. If you really like that fragrance, then you can pick them up. So some of these are really, really uh, good for summer. So check them out. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. And uh, once again, happy Ramadan to all of you. Bye-bye.